when we come back from combat, we a lot of guys tend to mire in our own self-pity, if you will, or if we, we tend to isolate and we tend to get together. It happens. Yeah, and, and you said when you came back, there was one line that you said that you said, I'm one of the lucky ones. I am one of the lucky ones. And I looked at that, and I know what you went through and, and the injuries that you sustained, and, and I just couldn't believe you were saying that. I'm missing my legs and my hand, and that's it. And I used to be a gymnast, so I look at the whole world in my own kind of way, like mm -hmm. my own personal jungle gym, um, which, I don't know, allows me to get around easier and have fun while I'm doing it. Uh, I think about uh, being in a wheelchair is like skateboarding 24-7. It's just, I have fun with it. I look for the good side in things. And everything's on how you perceive it. Mm -hmm. If you look at your situation in a bad way, you're gonna feel bad about it. If you can find humor in it or you know, a little excitement, you know, flying down a hill or something, then it's just that much easier to handle your situation. And yes, this has happened to me, but to me it's just an experience. It's not a tragedy. It's another life experience that has taught me a lot about who I am and what I'm capable of. We all have courage, and we have courage in, in combat, and that's a great courage. But the real courage, the strongest one, is the ability to not just fight the fight over there, but the fight it coming home. Courage heals the soul. Courage heals the soul. I'm Brian Anderson. I just want to let you know, I'm going to be on Warrior Summit Outdoors on WYLN. It's a show about healing soldiers. Being in combat can be stressful, and you got to find ways to deal with it. So we just wanted to show you how being outdoors um, riding ATVs, hunting, fishing uh, can help you heal. So check it out.